So in the last video, we were talking about the Greek alphabet, 24 characters, uh, seven of which were vowels, uh, and now we're going to talk about how those vowels work and what they actually can you know, produce. So let's, let's talk about what is a vowel to begin with. Well, every word has at least one, you might have learned this in English, and even uh, you know, a word like sly, we're going to get what is what's happening? What's going on with this vowel Y? You know, we, we tend to think of the owls as vowels as A E I O U in English, but then we also could include Y. What well, what's going on? Well, we have this sl. This is a consonant cluster, right? And this is giving us a lot of um, things to do <laughs> in our mouth, right? We, we've got a sibilant. We've got the S, so we're breathing around our tongue. We we move our tongue in a special way to get this L, but without this Y. There, there's really no, there's a lot of structure, but there's nothing, there's no body. It's just a sl it, it couldn't go anywhere. Vowels give length to the word that you're pronouncing. They fill in. So it, it tends to be that vowels are what you're hearing, but they're being framed by consonant clusters. And the consonant clusters are giving us a lot of information that when we combine with a voiced vowel, we're able to make meaning and make different words, sly, pie, however we want to go. So we've got five, maybe six vowels in English, uh, but we've got seven vowel characters in Greek. And what were those again? So they're going to be mostly similar to A, E, I, O, U. For A, over here, we have alpha, so we can write it both ways. Um, E, we have epsilon. Again, that looks familiar. And then remember to draw an epsilon like a little a lowercase epsilon, like a backwards three. Not like that. All right. And then for we have an extra vowel that's going to come in, and we're going to talk about that in a bit. Eta, also a kind of E sound. Next, we do get iota, I. And then we do have an omicron and an upsilon which looks a bit like our English Y in the, uh, the uppercase and then lowercase is a kind of a U figure again. And then we also have an omega. So again, these are the kind of clusters of uppercase, lowercase as we're going through each. Um, so we have these seven vowel characters, uh, but we've got some kind of, you know, newbies with respect to English. And what are these doing, this eta and this omega? Well, what these are are long vowels. They're both long, and they're always long. What do I mean by long? Vowels can be, in Greek, well, in any language, long or short. And we're used to seeing some of this in English, I think, where I was first introduced to the concept of long vowels. Say we have the name Don. Uh, this is a short O. It's Don, it's a word, but then we were adding, say we added an E. Well, in English, we have this you know, kind of cool rule that this can go back, This adding this E doesn't create its own syllable. This E isn't pronounced as, as its own. We don't say Don E or Don A or, or however we might pronounce that. No, this E gives us extra information about this O. It's saying, okay, we, we want to extend the length of this Oh, so it's not done anymore, it's done. So that's not actually just extending the length of the vowel, that's kind of changing its sound property. Well, the good news is, if we're familiar with this in English, this is a ton more complicated than what we have in Greek. Greek is going to be much more regular, um, it's, it's going to be a lot easier to handle. But that's the basic idea of, is this O oh has changed sounds uh, from kind of long to uh, well, technically a different sound, but it, it's gone from short from dot with don. This was short, but when we look at the whole thing, we have long. All right, so let's re remember what that is in English, have that concept, but start again in Greek. Uh, so we have maybe essentially five vowel sounds, A, E, I, O, U. Uh, those will get more complicated when we get into diphthongs, but let's just say for now that this is what we have as our kind of basic vowel, maybe we could call them types. So we've got that there, but now let's say, you know, we want these also to be, they can either be long, long or short. 
So in English, you know, we don't have any way to disambiguate between long and short, but these extra two characters that we had, let me scroll back up to those, these long etas and omegas right here, these are going to allow Greek to code within the, the characters themselves, within the actual alphabet, long and short. Uh, so, but that doesn't, you know, we, we don't have ten characters, that would be, you know, we, here we have two columns, five rows, five times two is ten. We could, in theory, have ten different characters here for all of these vowel types in long and short. Uh, Greek tends to be a little bit more economical than that. We're actually going to have seven. So that means we need to do some kind of, you know, doubling. So here we have alpha in the long and the short, and I'll do lowercase here. So we've got a long alpha and a short alpha. They're written the exact same. Uh, for our purposes, as we're learning a language, uh, it might be helpful to mark these long alphas with a macron or a macron. E either pronunciation is fine. Uh, and it's, it's a long mark. Let me write out that macron. M-A-C-R-O-N. You could, however, also mark something as short by doing a kind of shallow U. Uh, that's the short mark, but for right now, I'm going to forget about that. I'm not going to add it because um, as long as we're marking the long ones, you know, enough information's there. It's binary. You only, it's, it's long or short. There's no third option. Uh, so in this case, if, if we mark the longs, we don't need to mark the shorts. So long alpha, short alpha. Great. Short E sound is epsilon. Uh, oh, pardon that, as you might have guessed long E sound is that eta. So Greek has been helpful in giving us an extra vowel character to represent the long E sound. Also, I'm going to give you a little preview. Sometimes these long A's are kind of closely re related to these etas. Um, different dialects do different things. That's a complicated issue, but know that there, there's some sort of relationship here. There are some ties. Iota, there's only long and short with the same letter. That's just like alpha. And again, I'm, now I'm only going to mark the longs with the macron. Omicron, we've got a short O, and we, we talked about this last time. Micron, small, like microscope. Small O, and then we have omega. Uh, let me draw that right. Erase. Get it back, yeah. And that's omega long. All right, so here now these are the, the two special characters that we kind of talked about above. And then we have upsilon, can be long, can be short, upsilon. So we've got seven characters, and let me mark these. Note that what we have going on with these are, they're always long characters. And by extension, these are always short. So while we might need to mark an alpha, iota, or upsilon with a macron to show that it's long, if we want to express a long e sound, we just write an eta. We wouldn't. We would never do something like that. That's that's a no no. A long epsilon should be written as an eta. A long omicron should be written as an omega. All right. So those are all the simple vowels. Those are vowels that just come up on their own. Um, next time, because I'm running a little bit long on this lesson, we'll talk about diphthongs. And these are uh, the, the word diphthong. Let me write that. I forgot it. H, diphthong. This diph part means two, and this thong is talking about, or the thong is from here on out, the die, two, thong, kind of sounding. So we here we get two vowels combined into one. Uh, so there are a number of these uh, in Greek, uh, but we might give you a sneak preview. Alpha, iota, epsilon, iota. We have these in English too. Uh, we might think of deer. You know, it's not de ar. These two letters have combined to produce one sound, uh, and that's what we have here. So more on that on the next lesson, diphthongs. Here we just talked about long and short vowels, the seven vowels of the Greek alphabet. See you next time.